Hello. In this video, we're going to tackle part B of this problem. So we want to modify our program that is, so that prints an open rectangle pattern with blanks in the interior. Notice the brackets there saying if there is one. So let's talk, take a look at our examples we talked about before. So we first have the gray example where the character is x, the width is 3, and the height is 4. So in this case, these two x's are interior. So the new modification of the method, we don't want to print those. If we look at the blue case, notice there is no interior, so it would print out the same as before. So let's dive in and try and write this. So we're going to use our same version as before. And what I'm going to do first, just to help with visualization, is I'm going to change this example from 50. We're going to make it 9 and 10. So if I run it, again, I get two rectangles. I get one that's made up of, an X, of X's with a width of 3 and a height of 4, one that's made up of Y's with a width of 9 and a height of 10. So the first thing I noticed when I, when I looked at my example here, so I looked at my little demo, is that the top line and the bottom line are exactly the same as before. So if I come back into my code here, what I'm going to do is I, I want to print out exactly like before if I'm at the top or the bottom of the rectangle. And so that means the height is 0, or in this case height is 1, or height is height, the top point. So notice our loop here that that talks about what level we're at, which is right here, starts at zero and goes to one less than the height, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this by putting if um, j is equivalent to zero or j is equivalent to height minus one, we're going to print out the line like normal. So if I run this now, notice I only get the top or bottom of the rectangle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come below here, and I'm going to deal with every other line. So I'm going to put an else. So let's just run this again quickly and take a look. If I run this, I'm going to want the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So what I'm going to do is the left-hand side is when width is equal to 0, and the right-hand side is when width is equal to 1 less than the past value, right? Or in this case, i, which keeps track of our width. So when i is 0, and i is 1 less than the width. So what I'm going to do here is add a new if statement. I'm going to say if i is equivalent to 0 or i is equivalent to the width minus 1, we're going to go system.out.print. And again, we're going to print the character. Now, I will tell you this isn't going to work. And so I want you to take a second and look at what I have here and see if you can imagine what's going to be printed out. OK? So now I'm going to actually execute this, and notice I get kind of the rectangle, but the, the last, the, the, the right-hand side is not over where it should be. And the reason for that is because I'm not printing the spaces in between. So again, even though this is an empty rectangle, there is something there. There's a space. So if I'm not at the very left edge of the rectangle or the right edge of the rectangle, I need to print out a space. So let's try this now. And there we go. So now we have this nice program that prints out open rectangles. Of course, I want to test all my cases. So I'm going to add one more case where I'm going to print out, say, a star. And it's going to be 2 by 2, because a 2 by 2 will have no interior. Right? So there'll be nothing to remove. We run it, and sure enough, there it is. Oh, I put x, not star. So I hope this video helped. It's a little bit of a, a tricky kind of question, but it's well worth going through and making sure you understand the idea of what's going on and being comfortable with the vocabulary. Because remember, as we study programming, we want to develop a good vocabulary so that we can learn more and interact with other people. Have a great day.